Administering Windows Server Hybrid Core Infrastructure as 800 exam updated dumps are the latest version in the market. Share some updated Microsoft as 800 exam dumps here. 1. What should you implement for the deployment of DC3? A. Azure Active Directory Domain Services. Azure ADDS. B. Azure AD Application Proxy. C. An Azure Virtual Machine. D. An Azure AD Administrative Unit. 2. You are planning the implementation Azure Arc to support the planned changes. You need to configure the environment to support configuration management policies. What should you do? A. Hybrid Azure AD join all the servers. B. Create a hybrid runbook worker M Azure automation. C. Deploy the Azure Connected Machine Agent to all the servers. D. Deploy the Azure Monitor Agent to all the servers. 3. You need to implement an availability solution for DHCP that meets the networking requirements. Which two actions should you perform? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. On DHCP1. Create a scope that contains 25% of the IP addresses from scope 2. B. On the router in each office. Configure a DHCP relay. C. DHCP2. Configure a scope that contains 25% of the IP addresses from scope 1. D on each DHCP server. Install the failover clustering feature and add the DHCP cluster role. E. On each DHCP scope. Configure DHCP failover. 4. You plan to deploy a containerized application that requires .NET Core. You need to create a container image for the application. The image must be as small as possible. Which base image should you use? A. Nano Server B. Server Coat C. Windows Server D. Windows 5. You have an on-premises Active Directory Domain Services ADDS, domain that syncs with an Azure Active Directory Azure AD, tenant. You plan deploy 100 new Azure Virtual Machines that will run Windows Server. You need to ensure that each new virtual machine is joined to the ADDS domain. What should you use? A. Azure AD Connect B. A Group Policy Object GPO C. An Azure Resource Manager ARM Template D and Azure Management Group. 6. You have an on-premises Active Directory Domain Services, ADDS, domain that syncs with an Azure Active Directory, Azure AD, tenant. You have several Windows 10 devices that are Azure AD hybrid joined. You need to ensure that when users sign into the devices, they can use Windows Hello for business. Which optional feature should you select in Azure AD Connect? A device write back. B group write back. C password write back. D directory extension attribute sync. E Azure AD app and attribute filtering. 7. Your network contains a multi-site Active Directory domain services. ADDS Forest. Each Active Directory site is connected by using manually configured site links and automatically generated connections. You need to minimize the convergence time for changes to Active Directory. What should you do? A. For each site link, modify the options attribute. B. For each site link, 
modify the site link costs. C. For each site link, modify the replication schedule. D. Create a site link bridge that contains all the site links. 8. Your network contains an Active Directory domain services, ADDS, domain. The domain contains 10 servers that run Windows Server. The servers have static IP addresses. You plan to use DHCP to assign IP addresses to the servers. You need to ensure that each server always receives the same IP address. Which type of identifier should you use to create a DHCP reservation for each server? A. Universally Unique Identifier, UUID B. Fully Qualified Domain Name, FQDN C. NetBIOS Name D. MAC Address 9. You have an Azure Virtual Machine named VM1 that has a private IP address only. You configure the Windows Admin Center extension on VM1. You have an on-premises computer that runs Windows 11. You use the computer for server management. You need to ensure that you can use Windows Admin Center from the Azure portal to manage VM1. What should you configure? A. An Azure Bastion host on the virtual network that contains VM1. B. A VPN connection to the virtual network that contains VM1. C. A network security group 1 NSG. Rule that allows inbound traffic on port 443. D. A private endpoint on the virtual network that contains VM1. 10. You have an on-premises Active Directory Domain Services, ADDS, domain that syncs with an Azure Active Directory, Azure AD, tenant. You plan to implement self-service password reset, SSPR, in Azure AD. You need to ensure that users that reset their passwords by using SSPR can use the new password resources in the ADDS domain. What should you do? A. Deploy the Azure AD Password Protection Proxy Service to the on-premises network. B. Run the Microsoft Azure Active Directory Connect Wizard and select Password Right Back. C. Grant the Change Password permission for the domain to the Azure AD Connect Service account. D. Grant the Impersonate a Client after Authentication User Write to the Azure AD Connect Service Account.